This is the future of AI. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I want to show you AI image generation that is straight up magical. SDXL Turbo. This is rendering with only one step and creating images in real time while you type. And don't forget to enter into the Open Art ComfyUI workflow contest. They have a prize pool of over $13,000 with five categories and four special awards. But not only the winners are getting money prizes, but also the honorable mentions. So there's a high chance for you to actually win money for your workflow. I'm one of the judges and also on the judges panel is Scott Detweiler, Matteo, who created the IP adapter, Akatsuzi and Grokster, both of them are gurus in the ComfyUI workflow scene. Submitting to the contest is very easy and free. So just go to the page I linked below and upload your workflow. You can upload multiple times to the same contest. So here's the workflow that I want to show you. This is based on a video by Scott Detweiler. So first of all, we're going to download the SDXL Turbo model. I have the link below the video. You go here to files and then you scroll down and here you have a SDXL Turbo 1 FP16 safe tensor model. So download that either into your ComfyUI models folder and in there into the checkpoint folder. Or if you prefer to load it into your automatic 1111 folder in there into the models folder and in there into the stable diffusion folder with all of your other models. Next, let's have a look here on how to build this workflow. I will also link it below the video. You can download it and use it right away. So we're getting started here with a normal checkpoint loader where we load our model, of course. And then we need here two text encoders of which we only need the positive prompt. There is no use for the negative prompt at the moment. So this field here stays empty. And then we are not using a K sampler. Instead, we are using sampler custom. So when you double click here on the background and type custom, you will see here the sampler custom. Now here, of course, we are going to connect our model, the positive and the negative prompt, but then we also have a sampler and the sigmas. Now this is a little bit more special for the sampler. This is pretty easy. Just click and drag out and then you're getting asked and you want to connect this to the K sampler select for the SD Turbo scheduler. This should technically work the same way. But when I drag this out for me, this is not suggested. So again, double click on the background of your canvas and type Turbo to get the SD Turbo scheduler and then connect the Sigma output to the Sigma input. If you don't have the SD Turbo scheduler, Scheduler node. This means your ComfyUI is outdated. So what you want to do is to click on the manager over here and then click here on update all. You want to let it run through to make the updates, then close down ComfyUI, restart ComfyUI and let it finish all of the update installs. If you don't have the ComfyUI manager, you need to install that. I will link the ComfyUI manager below. Then of course you need an empty latent image that you want to connect here to the latent image input. We're going to set that to 512 by 512. Now let's talk about the settings. You can use any kind of seed you want to use here. Then for our control after generated, we are going to use fixed. I'm going to show you why we're going to do that in a second. And then for the CFG scale, you need to set that to one. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Of course, we need to have a VAD decoder and then here a preview image. Don't use a safe image because this will create hundreds or thousands of images. So you don't want to keep them all. Now, here's the reason why we set our seed here to fix. You want to go over here to your queue window. You want to click on extra options and then on auto queue. As soon as you start the queue, this is rendering the images as fast as possible. So basically in real time. And that means when I start here and then I start to type different prompts over here, for example, at night, this is going to update the image right away. Let's type sunset or we can type, for example, in London. And you can see this is updating right away because this is only using one step. It's rendering super fast. If you want to stop the queue, just unhook the auto queue 
and this is stopping. Now, as you can see from these images, the quality of the image is not going to be great because this is just for experimentation. It's a research model. But of course, if you want to, you can also build a little bit of an extra here with a loader and a K sampler to render this from image to image to get a higher resolution and higher quality version of an image you enjoy straight up magic my friends let me know in the comments what you think about that leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah